Server virtualization really stresses backup. Why? Well, think about it. Why do we consolidate servers? Because servers are underutilized. What's the one application that is not underutilizing servers? Backup. When you do a backup job, it's a big honking stream of data and it sucks up a lot of compute power. So when people consolidate servers, there's less physical resources available and this creates stress on backup administrators and VM ad, uh, VMware admins to actually complete backups on time. VMware becoming aware of this problem as a residual ripple effect of its success uh, created VMware consolidated backups, which really didn't solve the problem. It then subsequently released VADP, the VMware APIs for data protection, to the ecosystem and said, hey, ecosystem, software companies, go solve this problem. And they largely did. Um, in addition, VMware has a VDR, which is a free piece of software uh, to protect data. It's really to help small businesses. It's, it's out of the box, it's part of vSphere. Well today, we have Rob, Rob Emsley with us to talk about some news. It's the next generation of backup for small and mid-sized businesses. Uh, this is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. Rob, welcome back to theCUBE. Hey Dave. So big news, um, <clears throat> you guys got an announcement. I'll let you uh, tell the folks what it's all about. Well, it's a couple of things. I mean, I mean, one, it's, it's first to reiterate VMware's uh, announcement of uh, vSphere 5.1 uh, earlier today uh, with respect to uh, the uh, introduction of uh, new capabilities for their customer base. And one of those new capabilities is uh, in the backup and recovery market with the introduction of vSphere data protection, uh, which is a new uh, product, a new virtual appliance uh, that effectively replaces uh, vSphere data recovery, which you, you mentioned earlier. Uh, and really the, the connection to EMC is that VMware decided to select EMC to deliver uh, vSphere data protection uh, as an OEM uh, product offering uh, based upon EMC Avamar. You know, and that's uh, you know, very exciting. Uh, because, as you know, uh, EMC Avamar has been delivering backup and recovery uh, for VMware customers for many years. Uh, so we were uh, very happy to uh, partner with VMware to introduce uh, vSphere data protection uh, as the, the new uh, backup and recovery capability that is licensed with vSphere 5.1. Well, I bet you are very happy about that. Yeah. So essentially VDP is powered by Avamar. Every 5.1 uh, 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 customer is going to get essentially Avamar powering VDP, yep. uh, broadly distributed. Uh, well, congratulations, that's, that's big news. Why, uh, why Avamar? I mean, you know, you guys own VMware. Was this an inside deal? Why Avamar? No, I think what it comes down to is is the uh, unique capabilities that, that Avamar delivers uh, and the fact that, that Avamar has been delivering a, uh, a virtual appliance itself with Avamar Virtual Edition for uh, several years. Uh, I think uh, the integration with uh, VADP, which you, you also mentioned earlier, is, uh, is a unique um, set of capabilities that, that Avamar delivers, not only for backup, but also uniquely for for restore. So I think that uh, the uh, the capabilities of Avamar and the ability for for us to work uh, with VMware and and provide you know effectively a a, a good complementary uh, deal that makes sense for both them and us you know was uh, you know really a, a good driving factor for for how we got to where we are today. So this effectively replaces VDR, as, right. you, as you mentioned. Um, now VDR, again, uh, we had t we've talked about this in the past, it has kind of mixed signals. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of users early on complained, well, 90% of my backups actually failed, mm -hmm. and that's a you know, common problem. You know, backup's hard, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, back, being a backup software vendor is not a, a trivial you know, uh, issue, and let's face it, VMware's got a lot of stuff to do, so presumably, at powered by Avamar, Avamar is a you know, backup software, you guys know what you're doing there. Um, I, I wouldn't expect those types of uh, uh, trip ups out of the gate. 
Uh, can you, you know, confirm that? Can you comment on that? And specifically, really, where should customers use this versus a more you know, fully functional, higher-end backup system? Yeah, so I think, I, I think the, the, the target customer for, uh, for VDP is, is, is going to be in the, 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 uh, the smaller part of the market. Um, you know, just like uh, VDR, uh, the new uh, vSphere data protection is it's really targeted at environments that have um, virtual machines that are measured in the tens you know to the hundreds um, you know each virtual appliance has the ability to uh, to support probably up to a hundred virtual machines but very much dependent on how much uh, uh, data you're actually backing up uh, and that becomes you know very very key because um, I, I think when you start looking at requiring multiple virtual appliances to back up your environment, that's when you start looking at uh, should I have a backup and recovery solution that, uh, that scales and consolidates uh, more of the backup and recovery capabilities. And I think that's where I think what we, uh, we, we will hope to see is, is, is customers that that use VDP maybe for uh, their you know small type enterprise deployments, maybe departmental based usage. Uh, but clearly, um, one of the things that uh, customers will be able to consider is if they have uh, larger requirements, then that's where the uh, a move to EMC Avamar uh, would give them the ability to uh, effectively move from a VDP implementation to an EMC Avamar implementation uh, whenever they need to. Okay, so the, the, the backup software's free, it's bundled in with 5.1, um, so presumably you're not getting paid a lot for this type of deal. Can you talk about um, what the arrangement is between VMware and, and EMC and how you get paid? Um, I mean, that's kind of internal plumbing at the end of the day. I mean, we, you know, we have an OEM relationship and, you know, like all of our OEM relationships, we don't really sort of uh, publicly share kind of the, uh, the nuts and bolts of, of the mechanics, you know, but, but certainly, uh, you know, if you think about, um, you know, any, you know, type of company to company activity, you know, we, you know, we do things which are mutually beneficial to both of us. Yeah, so, okay, fair enough. Um, should we think about this then as a freemium model, um, you know, I think a Dropbox, right? Give them a little storage for free, and then when they fill up their Dropbox, you know, sell them more. Is that kind of the strategy here? As people get used to, you know, Avamar, they like it, they like the processes, and say, okay, now I've outgrown, you know, the free version. I need to to step up. Is that how we should think about this? Um, you know, I think that's one way. You know, I think that uh, you know clearly. Clearly, I think that customers' requirements for backup and recovery change over time. I think that it, it makes sense for, uh, for uh, VMware customers to take a look at, uh, at vSphere data protection, you know, especially as it's, uh, it's, it's a, new, uh, a new offering within the vSphere 5.1. Um, overall capabilities um, and you know certainly I think with the knowledge that the VDP is based upon a uh, a well a well deployed industry proven uh, solution with EMC Avamar I think will will just give customers I think a level of uh, of interest into what options that gives them going forward what do you expect from the backup ecosystem I mean obviously VMware has to in Despite the fact that they're owned by EMC, they've got to play Switzerland because yeah. it just helps them. Yeah. Um, how do you think the competition is going to respond? You know, I think that that uh, you know, just as with the uh, the availability of VDR uh, within earlier versions of vSphere, um, is you really still have uh, you know a lot of uh, of vendors that are providing backup and recovery. So you know, clearly that gives customers choice. You know, and I think that um, the the introduction of, of VDP uh, just sort of introduces a new dynamic to the choices that customers have, um, and you know I think we'll see 
uh, you know what some of the reaction are uh, the reaction is from you know other members of the the backup and recovery market. So I think in general we're seeing the evolution of the backup space within uh, VMware specifically. Uh, we saw this problem emerge several years ago that backup uh, really gets stressed. Uh, VMware began to solve the problem. They looked to the ecosystem to solve it. Uh, this seems to be coming a more hardened capability inherent to vSphere with a lot of choice left over from the ecosystem is kind of the message that I'm hearing. You think that, is that fair? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, I think if you think about, about VDP is that, uh, you know, one of the things that you'll see is, you know, is that VMware will look at, uh, at, at at how many options of VDP they should offer. I mean, clearly you've got, you know, what was introduced uh, uh, with vSphere 5.1 with uh, uh, bundled and licensed as part of the vSphere. Uh, VMware began to solve the problem. They looked to the ecosystem to solve it. Uh, this seems to be coming a more hardened capability inherent to vSphere with a lot of choice left over from the ecosystem is kind of the message that I'm hearing. You think that, is that fair? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, I think if you think about, about VDP is that, uh, you know, one of the things that you'll see is, you know, is that VMware will look at, uh, at, at at how many options of VDP they should offer. I mean, clearly you've got, you know, what was introduced uh, uh, with vSphere 5.1 with uh, uh, bundled and licensed as part of the vSphere uh, business model. Uh, but I would uh, expect to see as we go into 2013 to have a, uh, a more functional uh, and feature-rich version of VDP available for, for customers to uh, to evaluate, you know, so I think that uh, as well as you know the the option of uh, of using a commercially available application um, that doesn't come from VMware, and, and clearly, um, you know, we would like more and more customers to make use of VMC Avamar, and we hope that you know this uh, this development and this relationship with VMware will will certainly uh, uh, lead people to evaluate EMC Avamar. Uh, in a, a very good light, you know, based upon um, in, in a, their experience with VDP. But, you know, we also, you know, expect to continue to evolve our partnership with VMware uh, on uh, uh, other versions of VDP uh, that, uh, that they themselves can, can take to market. Yeah, it's a very competitive market. Uh, certainly your CEO, Joe Tucci, frequently talks about uh, VMware's need to really balance uh, the, e the ecosystem and serve the ecosystem. Uh, and certainly at senior levels of, of EMC and, and VMware, and frankly VMware throughout, that message comes through loud and clearly. Uh, on the other hand, you're not paid to play nice, are you? Uh, and so we would expect you guys want to com compete vigorously in the marketplace and uh, get your fair share. Yeah, I mean the the opportunity for uh, for backup and recovery continues to be uh, massive. You know, I think uh, if, if you look at both the the opportunity for backup software, if you look at the opportunity for uh, purpose-built backup appliances to store backups, um, I mean it, it remains you know one of the the largest opportunities at the moment. And I don't think we've seen uh, so much transformation taking place in the backup market for you know several years uh, I mean for the longest time you know backup was uh, uh, was kind of evolving uh, fairly slowly but I think over the last probably five years with the emergence of deduplication and with the emergence of, of virtual infrastructure becoming more of the norm rather than the exception the opportunities for backup and recovery uh, solutions has become um, vast, and I think that's uh, really what uh, has has benefited the uh, the backup recovery systems division inside of EMC is because we, we we really have both the products and the resources to to go after 
you know, that opportunity. And you know, the, the number of conversations we have with customers about um, VMware backup and recovery um, is very, very large compared to kind of other parts of the infrastructure that we're asked to protect. Yeah, virtualization, Rob, hasn't it, has been very disruptive to, to backup. I mean, it's, as you know, been a software-led business and people essentially get locked into the processes and they don't want to change. They really can't change. And virtualization has forced them to change. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a big deal for you guys because you now get to seed the base, yep. you know, with a product that's right out of the box. It's kind of invisible to, to, to most people and it's just there and uh, provides a good growth path. So congratulations on the, uh, on the announcement. I'm sure it wasn't a trivial to, to get you know, VMware to get to the point where they're actually going to bundle it in. So that's a big move, and um, we'll be watching. Sounds so, good. All right, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. And sharing uh, this news with us. So check out siliconangle.tv, check out siliconangle.com and wikibon.org for breaking analysis on this and other news. And thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you next time. This is Dave Vellante.